And we continue learning the correct way to cut, to break bread, etc. And we're up to a sif, this is, excuse me, simin kof sam zayin. We are up to sif dalid. Teaches the machaber in sif dalid, yitain, yitain, shtei yadav ala pas. One should place shtei yadav. His two hands shall be placed ala pas on the bread, vishaza bracha, while you're making the bracha. Sheish bem eser at vais. Your two hands as ten fingers can get Esther Mitzvah Satsulius Babas, which correspond to the ten commandments, the ten mitzvahs, which are dependent upon bread. So before you make the bracha, before you cut the bread, you're going to be holding the bread with your ten fingers. And therefore, says, Rabbi, says the Mishnah Burak, says the Mechaber, excuse me, Yesh Esther Tevais Vibrechaz Amaitzi. There are ten words in the bracha of Hamaiti, which is one of the reasons Baruch Atah Hashem Alkinu Melchilam Hamaiti Lacha Min Aret. This is one of the ways one could count to ten for a minion utilizing the bracha of Hamaiti. But says the Machaber, the reason is it's corresponding to the ten mitzvahs atzilus ba'aret, which also corresponds to the ten fingers that you hold the bread with. So ten words in these psukim corresponding to the ten mitzvahs that Tzuliyais be pass. Says the Mishnah Bura Sif Katan Chav Kimmel Shtei Yadav Yitin Shtei Yadav Hainu Titoi Vlas Eskin. It's good to do this. Vim Hu Lavosh Bebati Adayim. Let's say it's freezing cold. One is eating bread and he's wearing gloves. As Mishnah Bura Nachin, it's proper. She is Siri Mishas Habracha. Remove the gloves when you make a bracha. You lift up the bread. And on Shabbos day, when you're making the bracha on both breads, of course, for Lacha Mishnah. Therefore, you should pick up both of them. Why the ten fingers corresponding to the ten mitzvahs at Tzliyos Bebas? Says Mishavur Sivkatul Chav Talad Ki Eser Mitzvahs Adam Oise Actually Yoch Yoichal Purusas Pas. There's ten mitzvahs that are done before the consumption of the bread. Pshas Acharisha Leisachar Yishar B'Chamar Yachtov Pshas Azriya Sachatul Leisus Merkarayim Pshas Dishal Leisachar Yishar B'Dishay Leket Shicha Peya Chumas Ma'isar Yishayin Sheni V'Chala. So again, a simple ten is that the plowing. The zriya and the disha, and those three steps of while the the seed is being cultivated, while the grain is being grown, these three mitzvahs of forms of kalayim, we'll call it. And then you have all the manas kuna, you have leket, shecha, peya, chuma, maiser, rishay, maiser, sheni, and chala, the eser mitzvahs, that's liyais, pas. And we continue with sev, he says the machaber. Lo Yivsa one should not cut and break the bread at Yavi Lafana Melach or lift on till he has salt or some other dip to dip the bread in. Pure Shashi called over Nachlan Pas, anything that's eaten with the bread. Lafis by Prusa piece habitsia to eat together with the piece that you're going to cut off. Iminikia, if the bread is clean, Oishi Mitu Bellas Bitavlin, or it's already spiced, Oibin Melach Kin Shalon, who already has salt like our bread. Or you just plan on eating the bread by itself. You don't have to wait till you have salt in front of you. But says the Ramah, even though it's not necessary, it's not necessary if one does not plan on eating it in such a manner. But there's always a mitzvah, says the Ramah. To have salt on the table, why? Because the shulchan is similar to a mizbeach. Vachila and eating is like a carbon. And in all carbonas, you have salt. So the table should have salt, as the table is a shulcha is a mizbeach. Excuse me. The food should have salt, as the food is like a carbon. Who magain mina paranya? He says the ramad the saves from punishments. I in the command soif sif soif simin kof ayin. Says the Mishnah Bura Sivkatan Chav Hey. 
lo yivsa umemila zar lizerim lahaskel avarich abracham umemila. And by default, says Mishmura, one should be careful not to make, not to begin making the bracha. Vim veirach, and if he made the bracha, zarech lantik sasu lechalat shavim elch. Wait a little bit till you have salt. Lefan of sevkatu chavav. Vim ravam v'subim zarech lantim levarech hashaviu lefnei kol echad v'echad. There's a lot of people they all need salt. Fishu mighty asam bevarchasli because you're being mighty them with the bracha, and therefore they all need their own salt. Zrichan lita miyad achar bracha. They all have to eat a little bit of the bread. After you bake the bracha. So what do you need to have on the table? You need to have melech or lift on. Sivkot of Zayin says, Mishmura Kadesh Dei Nechals B'Tam Mishum Kavoy Na Bracha. So the reason we want salt, the reason we want to dip the bread into something is a kavod, is a chashivos, it elevates the bracha. You don't want to eat the bread bland. And furthermore, you don't want to have to wait. That's what you want to have it on the table prior. If you wait a little bit, don't make the bracha. That's what it means in the kia, clean bread, bread that does not need any of these additions. If you don't plan on having salt or any spices on the bread, then there's no covet of the bracha to wait and put salt on such a bread. Because you don't plan on waiting for the salt or the tavlinin at all. Then, if you want to, um, right to land, um, could not bracha, cheve, levana, melech, tavlin, or shus, be other, you're allowed to wait, you just don't have to. Ve, um, lach, shas, um, and until, um, but you don't have to worry that it's to be a half stick between the washing and the bracha, kim, and shu, suda, cause this is, of course, a necessity for the meal, you're waiting for the salt in order to eat the bread. Taimu, um, is beach, sevkot, and lamin, kwa, shem, chazal, bizman, shabi, sevidish, kaim, is beach, mechaber, laudum, is beach, gives kapara, gives atonement, achim, shal, shachan, shal, adam, that the table of a person gives kapara. Shenaisin milach mayit ladal et interjects in mishtabura. Where does it give kapara? It gives kapara that you gave to your bread to the poor. Mechaper lav dechsevi dabra elai zeh shochan shelfnei Hashem. And interesting over here in the shartzia in ois chavhei the shartzia and adds on vegama idei miras different itayra lav kisa beavis bar gimol lefachais yoyim eizim mizrach berch samayis. You should say some level of itayra. On the table, va'achila, and the eating of the bread is daimel karbana. He says mishmuras of katan lamed alav shadom eichal lechazik echaysav. You're eating to get stronger. Va'idezei yabari vechazik avodas Hashem. And of course, that is always the attitude. We're not just eating for enjoyment. We're allowed to enjoy what we eat, but the bottom and the real crux and the real impetus of why we're eating should really be in order to be stronger to serve Hashem. And of course, one saying, "Wait, but I'm sitting at work right now." Great. That's also part of Avodas Hashem because you need to have money. Everything in some levels Avodas Hashem, if it's channeled with the right kavan, it saves from punishments. When they wait and they don't have mitzvahs, but the bris of Melech will save. So really at this point it sounds almost like why is it necessary? But still the Mishabura ends off over here in Sivkatan Lami Gimel quoting from the Magan Avram who quotes from the Mekubalim Litbal Prusas Amaiti Mimel Shalosh Pamim should always dip the bread into the salt three Time. So we're seeing that even though the real reason to dip your bread into salt is because the bread needs more of a salt, more of a spice, therefore it's a covet of the bracha to do that. However, but the Ramah adds on, even if one is not going to, so it seems the halacha salt is not necessary, but says the Ramah, no, your bread is like a carbon. Your table's like a mizbeach, and if you should always have salt, and the mishabur is adding on that dipping it is not just dipping it once, but three times alp kabbalah. We continue with dear shino number fifteen that if one is wearing gloves, you should remove them during the bracha. Says the dear shino, even though with regard to a kaisel bracha, we're going to see in kufbe gimel 
you should as well remove the gloves. And as well, with regards to writing Sefer Torah, should not write them while wearing gloves. Even if the fingertips are cut off, you should wear gloves. Your whole hand should be involved, even if it's very cold, because it's not covered for a Sefer Tire, I guess that'd be no gap. Someone's writing the final ACS outdoors. So you should wait until everyone has salt. No, edition number 16. That was the time of the Gemara that everyone had their own table in front of them. And therefore, everyone needs their own salt. But nowadays, of course, everyone's on one table. Says the Kaf Chayim, the Shem, the Yad Aroin. It's enough to have one salt on the table. And as well, our bread already has salt. And therefore, the whole reason why you're dipping the Hamoisi to salt, we said, is only Alpi Kabbalah. It's like similar to the Mizbeach, similar to the Karbanais. Therefore, you don't need enough Kavina Mekulam Eichlin. It doesn't make a difference. Lamaisa, once it's dipped into the salt, that's fine. Not everyone needs their own salt. Um, at the night of the Seder, the Ramban Tav Ayin Hay writes, We don't dip in salt. The Matzah that we make Hamoisi on, there's no chasarim because it's past Nakia, whereas the Mishnah Brew over there adds on. Even the other days of Pesach, Tavlin Samatza, we do indeed dip the matzah into salt. Now we said after you wash, after you make a mighty, you say Eza Mizma, you say something on the table. Mishnah Brew and Kafayin says, Tavlin Marachas Berch Samaiti Mizah Shemari Layachsar. So therefore, you make sure you're davening for Parnasa right away on t- at the Sudam. Similarly, the Shartzian added on, we didn't see this, you're not allowed to kill a kina on the table. Or other disgusting things as in the Arach Shulchan. The t- Shulchan is a Mizbeach. You have to treat it in that manner. So we said it's always a mitzvah, dear number 20, to leave salt on the table. So dear goes right on Rosh Hashanah that we dip the chala into honey. It says there's some Mizalmin, you still should have salt on the table, even though you're not dipping into the salt. On the other end, the stapler did not bring salt to the table. And different min hugging whether you have salt, even when you're not going to use it because you're going to have honey. What about dipping uh, in general on Rosh Hashanah? Kav Chaim says you should first dip into salt and then dip into honey. As one can anticipate, the Kav Chaim coming more from the Kabbalistic angle, that even though in Rosh Hashanah we're going to be dipping into honey, but says the Kav Chaim, what about Albi Kabbalah that you're supposed to dip your bread into salt? Therefore, he says you always should. The, the Salmas Chaim, Yitzchayim Sonnenfeld writes, you should dip one side into honey, take a bite, and then dip the other side into salt. Fascinating. I guess uh, maybe Yushalayim, there are many Yushalmis perhaps do this. Whereas the Chazinish and the Stapler of Shalmizalmin, they did not dip into salt at all in Rosh Hashanah. Only into honey. We did see that the Shalmizalmin would have salt on the table, but he would not dip into the salt on Lel Rosh Hashanah. And finally... Mishnah, yeah, and now we'll stop over here. We'll pick it up in Siv Vav in the next year of Bisiyata Dishmaya.